I got really nervous when I first got here. I wasn't sure what time the park closed. I thought it was nine according to Google, but one of the girls that worked the rides, uh, this one right here, told me that they are open till midnight. So I have time. Um, this is the one credit that I need to get still. It's a kiddie coaster, but whatever. Um, it's currently down. She said it should be open before they close. Uh, thank God. I thought I was gonna be missing yet another one today. I'm gonna go over and ride the Crazy Mouse in the meantime. Just got off the Crazy Mouse. Um, I was expecting the worst. It looks like it's seen better days, especially the upholstery and the seat. It was all ripped to shreds. It looks like 16 seagulls had a fight on it. Um, but actually it rode really well. Surprise. I do like the color scheme and I like the little light package. Comes, things comes with the boardwalk territory. So I got six tickets left and I'm just waiting for a locomotion to open. I was only coming here for the two coasters, not really anything else, but looks like I got time to kill. I thought I was going to miss out at nine o'clock close, but nope, they're open to midnight. Thank God, at least one thing went my way today. Just hope they get that right closed and I'll sit or, or open. I don't want to sit around here for a few hours and wait for something that doesn't open, but she, she's sure that it's going to open, so I'm going to wait around and see. These things are insane if you've never done one. It's probably like one of the scariest rides I've ever been on, even worse than skydiving. I've only been on one and it was the one at Seaside Heights like in 2012, I think, with my friend Christina. We did ours, it was starting to get a little dark, but pitch black, man. I can't imagine. Another great light show going on over there. And some more copyright notices, I'm sure. These boardwalk parks, there's like a speaker on top of every ride. It's crazy. One day I'll have to buy a mic and start voicing over and just muting everything. I've ever seen on a Ferris wheel. Look at that for a while. Still waiting for the repair guy here. Added an hour to my parking. I had to sign up for a parking app to park out here. I didn't feel like looking around for a parking spot for 20 minutes because I thought I was only had 20 minutes to be able to get up here. So I just downloaded it, started walking up on the boardwalk and downloaded everything as I walked. Back to another colorful light show. I've actually had to film this thing like four times because every time people walk past me and they keep dropping F-bombs. One of the guys said that King Daka effing scared him when he walked past too. So that, that was kind of funny. Thought about leaving it in, but I deleted it because they were like right up in my camera and it just kind of ruined it. Still funny. Come across a couple cool carousels on this trip too. Not my thing. Last time I rode one it was at uh, Christmas Candy Lane for Hershey Park. I think was it last year? When pretty much all the other rides were closed. We went with a couple friends. But this one's cool. It's got the two-tier. I don't know if I've ever been on a two-tier. I don't think I have. Like I said, these usually aren't, aren't my go-to in any way, but neat. I'm sure the kids would love it. Yo, Chance, look what I got. You know I did this in every single video pr practically except like one for you. Get better, buddy. And I uh, wish you were here so I could uh, ride some coaster and dribble some oil on you while we were on the coasters together. Sooner or later, buddy. Gotta get Pantheon next year. And I am done and ready to go home. Being I was out so late, I'm not going to be able to get to uh, Playlands Castaway Cove to get those night gale course rides. So, oh well. Maybe next time. But still, I'm glad I got out here. So it, was looking, it was looking pretty grim on getting this one, but I walked over and she was still sitting in the front where she was when she said she was waiting for the, uh, the um, maintenance to come over. So I went over and got some pizza, as you saw. And, came back over and she's like it's good to go and sent me around a bunch of times started tooting the horn which you can hear and now every two minutes there's a bunch of kids getting in line so 
That's pretty cool. That's a wrap. Heading back to the car. And I got about a two and a half, three hour drive. That's it from Atlantic City.